Laboratory Safety. At the conclusion of this presentation, you should be able to know how to be safe in the laboratory and to be prepared in case of accidents or spills, as well as to understand the laboratory safety items that are available to you in the lab room. Notify your instructor if you have any medical condition, including pregnancy, allergies, disabilities, or immunological disorders that may require special precautionary measures in the laboratory. Do not eat, drink, smoke, or apply cosmetics in the lab. Leave food and drink outside of the lab or keep it and put it away inside of your backpack. Wear closed-toed shoes at all times while in the laboratory. A lab coat, goggles, and gloves will be provided for you by the college and must be worn for certain lab activities. Always make sure to wash your hands and arms thoroughly with soap and water each day before leaving the lab. Immediately report any accident, injury, or spill to the instructor or assistant. If hazardous chemicals enter your eye, have someone notify the instructor and, with assistance, flush your eyes out in the eye wash station for five minutes. If hazardous chemicals get on your clothes, remove them and have someone notify the instructor. Then, use the shower station to wash off the chemicals for five minutes. Lab coats that cover the arms and extend to at least the mid-thigh must be worn when viewing the cadaver. Also, make sure it fits properly and can be closed completely in the front. When viewing the cadaver, long pants are required. That means no shorts, skirts, or short dresses. Safety goggles are required when viewing the cadaver. Glasses are not sufficient to meet this requirement. Also, be sure to not wear contact lenses when viewing the cadaver. Formaldehyde vapors can get caught between your eye and the contact lens, causing damage. When viewing the cadaver, gloves, either disposable or rubber gloves, will be required and will be provided for you. Long hair should be tied back and off the shoulders when viewing the cadaver. And please note that students are not allowed to observe the cadavers unless they are wearing all of the appropriate personal protective equipment. It is important to know safe practices when working in a laboratory. Know the hazards of chemicals that you might be using. Look for warning labels such as flammability, reactivity, stability, and toxicity. Work only on authorized experiments and lab activities. Never perform a lab experiment unsupervised. No equipment or chemicals shall be removed from the laboratory. The use of glassware as food and beverage containers is prohibited. Never clean up broken glass. Instead, ask for assistance from your instructor or instructional assistant. Review each laboratory activity for health, safety, and environmental considerations. All materials should be properly labeled with name and appropriate hazard warning. Never reach into a biohazard container or sharps container. Also, never fill the sharps container past the full line. Cadaver viewing policy. Anatomical donors and specimens are to be treated with the utmost respect at all times. These represent persons who, even after death, are contributing to the cause of medical education. No photograph of any cadaver or any part thereof may be taken at any time. While working with cadavers, it is important to treat the body with a high level of respect and professionalism. Always wear gloves when handling the cadaver, and the cadaver is to be kept in the presentation room, and the exhaust fan should be on when viewing the cadaver. The face and genitals are not exposed unless for the purposes of study. Only students enrolled in the anatomy and physiology courses are to view the cadaver while under the direct supervision of the instructor or instructional assistant. Only expose the parts of the body required for study at that time. While wearing goggles, moisten the cadaver every 15 minutes and directly before closing up the cadaver for the day. Never remove anything from the cadaver, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem. The cadaver is to remain in the locked storage facility when not in use. Hand washing should occur immediately following cadaver handling. 
instruments on surfaces should be disinfected immediately following exposure to the cadaver specimens or body fluids. Slide viewing policy. The prepared slides that you will be viewing are expensive and fragile. At no time should a student have a stack of slides on their desktop. Only take one slide to your desktop at a time. Keep the slides flat on the countertops and refrain from placing slides on textbooks or notes. Remember to return the slide to the correct slide tray when finished viewing. Bone viewing policy. Some of the bones used in this class are real bones and as a result are fragile and expensive. These bones are labeled natural. With this in mind, it is important that you handle the bones with great care. View only one bone at a time. Never use pens or pencils as pointing devices and use instead a wooden dowel to point out structures. When finished with the bone, please return it to the proper box. Where possible, natural bones should not be in the same box as plastic bones. Plastic bones are heavy and tend to fracture natural bones if placed or stored together. Thank you for watching and happy investigating.